Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you our three to six month baby essentials. And I have Amelia here with me just for the introduction, just because I feel like I haven't shown you off on the channel in a little bit. So she's grown so much and she's officially seven months as of a couple days ago. So we've made it out of that three to six month range and I feel like I definitely know what products we lived with and use all the time. Um, and so I'm excited to be able to share that with you guys because you guys definitely liked our newborn essentials. So I want to be able to do kind of the essentials for all the different age, age ranges. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll give you back to daddy, okay? So I'm going to have all the essentials divided up into different categories just so it makes this video go a little bit more seamless. And then I will have time stamps so you can just click around um, if you want to get to certain types of essentials. So I'll definitely have that in the description as well as all the products linked down below so that you can easily find those. I believe everything that I'm showing you is still available to purchase so I'll definitely make it easy for you guys to find these items. First category that I want to begin with is entertainment. I feel like the three to six month age range is just so much fun especially when you get towards the end like that five to six month range. Um, babies are just so much more interactive and I've had so much fun with Amelia just trying to entertain her um, and I feel like she's easily entertained. She's, she's just such a happy baby and so it's been fun to really um, play with her. I'm somebody that doesn't want to clutter my house with too many toys but I definitely like to have things that are fun for her to play with and can really stimulate her mind and educate her even as a baby. So what we've really really loved is Love Every. And I was so excited because they reached out to me and wanted to give me their play gym and then one of their play kits as well that was for her age at the time. Um, and she has loved these so much, even to this day. She spends so much time on that play gym every day um, and she loves every single item that came in the play kit. So I'm going to quickly show those. I don't want to go into too much detail, but Love Every is a Montessori-based style of play. So the play gym has just so much going on and it's developmentally friendly for all the different age ranges from like a newborn up until a year or even on. It can like convert into a tent so I've seen like toddlers go and play in it and just have so much fun but there's so many different little sections a part of it that um, really stimulate your baby's mind for their different months. So Amelia has loved it. There's little things hanging from it. I'll give a video but she loves like wood clapper things. She loves to just grab it and shake it. There's also like a little crinkly thing and then a ball and she just has fun playing with those. So she is always entertained on that play mat and it has been seriously a lifesaver to just be able to set her down and know that she's going to be entertained. And then also I want to get into the play kit real quick and just show you what came in that really quickly. Okay, so here are some of the items. So this first one is just this one that you can like roll. She loves this so much. Sometimes I set her in her high chair and just let her go to town at this and she loves it. Um, and then it also came with these little rattle socks. So you can just put these socks on um, and Amelia loves to just grab her feet, eat her toes, loves anything to do with her feet. So putting these on really entertained her. Um, and this was just perfect for her age range. So I feel like she's a little bit grown out of these now, but when she was about like four to five months, she really, really loved these. Then there's this, also this weeble wobble, um, and it kind of like stays balanced, so it's really good when your baby's trying to do tummy time. It keeps their focus like a little bit upwards, um, and this really just helped her develop strength during tummy time. Also fun, again, when we're at the dinner table, just put her in her high chair, put this right on top of it. She has so much fun just hitting it, knocks off the table. <laughs> she has a lot of fun with it, so we love that. Then it also came with this wooden box that is like this little tissue box, and you can connect all the tissues, and baby just has so much fun pulling it out. She loves to just chew on these um, right now, but I know as she gets older, she'll be able to really process like that when you pull these out, another one comes out. I don't have them connected, but getting that object permanence and stuff like that. So, loved this toy. And then also came with this little board book that just has the different like parts of the body. So this is fun so that I can like read it to her, show her on my face, show her on her face, and just kind of help her develop those first types of words and recognize recognize the body parts. So loved this book. So yes, we definitely love every. I'm definitely going to be getting more of their play kits as she gets older. Um, I've loved every single toy. They are a little bit pricey, but it's definitely worth the money because these will last for so long. She has used them for the months that we've had them and I know she'll continue to use them. So we love them so, so much. 
Another thing that Amelia has loved is her Jolly Jumper. Um, it's the off-brand Jolly Jumper. It's like $25. I think it's Even Flow is the brand. Um, I'll have it linked down below, of course. I think we just got it at Target, but we just put it up on the door frame in our kitchen while we're making dinner, cleaning, whatever, and she just has a dandy time. <laughs> Why did I say that? She just has so much fun jumping around in that. We put her in it even when she wasn't able to jump yet. It was very good to help strengthen her legs, um, stand up straight, you know, develop more of a good posture. So I think that this has been really beneficial for her um, because she is just like such strong lower body now. I think it's because she's spent a lot of time in that Jolly Jumper. So I definitely recommend just getting the cheap one. It's worked really well for us and she's loved it and so have we. My baby has also started to have so much fun during bath time. She has always loved bath time, but it's so much fun now because she actually wants to like play with toys and really have us interact with her. So she just likes to keep it simple. We got these little bath toys from Target. I think they're the Munchkin brand. It's nice and simple, but it's definitely fun to be able to entertain your baby in the bath time and just make it a little bit more of an enjoyable experience and kind of make it last longer because that's definitely something that's part of her bedtime routine. And I want her to be able to, you know, really be able to wind down but still have fun before she goes to bed and make bath time like a big chunk of time because sometimes if we're not playing, it's like, a couple minutes so this kind of lengthens the time um, and she has a lot of fun with it and then of course we love board books and reading these books to her so I just want to quickly show you a little bit of our favorites um, this one here is called you are and it is speaking God's word over your children so the illustrations are super pretty and it has um, like truths for your child and then the verse associated with it and then we have this one here I love the baby lit books these these three are all baby lit you can get them on Amazon so this one is like an Ansel Adams and his camera. My husband loves Ansel Adams, so he got this for her and loves to read that to her. He also loves national parks, so we got this at uh, the St. Louis Arch National Park, um, and it just has all the different like letters of the alphabet and national parks associated with each. So this book is super cute, and then we have this cute little girly little princess one. So the baby lit books are just super simple, um, quick and easy to read, keeps their attention when they're that young. Board books that are nice and short are definitely good for this age. All right, so now onto the category of sleep. This is around the time where you transition your baby out of a swaddle with their arms down into more of like a sleep sack and keeping their arms um, free so that they, once they like begin to roll around and stuff, it's not safe to have them swaddled. So we decided to go with the kite sleep sacks. Um, I just love how soft these are, how warm they are, um, how much like space there is. So no matter like how tall your baby is, they're gonna fit in this for a while. Um, and then you can get the next size up and that goes until baby is like six, 18 months old. I think it's like six to 18 months. So this one's a zero to six and she still fits in this great, still has a lot of room left. Um, and these wash really well. She loves it, she's so comfy. Every time I like lay it down and put her in it, she starts like wiggle and she gets <laughs> so excited. So I think this just makes her bedtime experience pretty great. So definitely if you are looking for a sleep sack, I love Kite Baby. We have a few of them just so one gets if one gets dirty, I can have that in the wash and then have another one available. We love the transition from the Ollie Swaddle to these. So love Kite Baby. Then also for sleep, Amelia doesn't really like pacifiers anymore. They're not really something that soothes her. If we give it to her in her bed, she just kind of chews on it. It's not really to like soothe her. So she has had this levy for a while and loves this so much. Like she loves to get in her sleep sack, us to give her this and she just cuddles it and sometimes she just plays with it for a little bit, talks to herself. But I feel like this really helps her like soothe herself to sleep. So this is just a cute little bunny lovey that you can get on Amazon, but I'm so happy that she likes one of these because I think babies with like an attachment to these little lovey stuffed animals is just the way to my heart. So I'm really excited that she really likes this and this has been kind of what she uses to soothe herself at night. And of course we still are loving the Hatch Sound Machine. We use that for every one of her naps and every night for bed. Um, we just turn it on the either the white noise or the ocean. That's a good trigger to her once we turn it on then it's time for bed. We turn, close the blinds, turn on the sound machine, put her in her sleep sack um, and she just knows that that means it's bedtime. So it's a really good cue for baby that it's going to be time to go down and take a rest. So we love that. It really does keep her asleep. I've noticed times when we don't have it on, she does not sleep as well. And I'm like, oh, yep, the sound machine wasn't on. Makes sense. Continuing to use it and loving it. 
All right, so now onto the category of feeding. This is around the time that you can start to feed your baby solids, and it is so much fun. We started it when Amelia was probably exactly like six months. I didn't want to do it too early, um, just because food and choking stuff kind of freaks me out. So I want to do it right when she was able to. She's also just a tinier baby in like the first percentile for height and like 15th for weight. So she just is tiny, and I was wanted to do it when she was ready. So. We started foods when she was around six months, had so much fun with it, now she's really getting the hang of it, and it has been such a blast. So, like I said, we haven't done too much with feeding, but we've probably had a good month down, so I definitely have some things that I know are definitely essential for feeding time. First one being this bib. This is by the brand Mushy, and it's just a silicone bib, but it has it's very wide, so it covers their whole chest, and then it also has this pocket, so it catches any of the food that they're eating, um, baby purees that drip off their mouth, it just drips right in here, catches it, and it just makes cleanup such an easier process, so baby isn't super dirty, and since it's silicone, it's very easy to just rinse off, wipe down, um, and good for the next use, so... We've loved this. Um, it's really soft and comfortable um, and very adjustable based on how big baby is. So I know she'll be able to wear this for a while. Um, we have a few of these and love them so much. They're really not like too expensive either. So for a really good quality silicone bib, um, I would recommend this one. All right, and then as far as actual food goes, I know a lot of people do baby lad weaning right away, but I tried that like one of the first times I fed her. I gave her an avocado, and I just felt like she wasn't ready. Um, so we decided to start off with the baby purees. So I'm not somebody that is making my own purees. I just, I mean, maybe I do have time for it, but I think it's easier to just get the jars at the at, at Target. And I know that these are safe. I trust it, and she has loved you so much. We get the Beech Nut Organics brand. Um, we've tried so many different ones, like bananas she loves, pears, apples. Um, I think that's really it. Maybe mangoes. Yeah, she's. we try to do every, like, four to seven days, we'll try a new one just so that we can, if she has an allergic reaction, we can pinpoint what it was. But these jarred fruits and veggies have been amazing. Um, I feel comfortable with them and she really does enjoy them. So I think that's a good way to start with baby foods if you're not wanting to do baby lead weaning right away. She also loves just easy snacks that melt in her mouth. Um, so her favorite by far is the yogurt melts. I feel really comfortable with because they melt pretty instantly after they go in her mouth. Um, they are like a disc shape, I can show you. They're just like small and round, but when she first started I broke them in half. Um, just so I could see how she handled them. We did that for a little bit and now I can give her like a full one and she um, eats it fine. Oops. I like to include these with the jarred foods because this teaches her how to actually chew. Um, so with her little gum she just chews on these and it's really cute. I wanted her to be able to learn those movements of her mouth and not just eat just the jarred food um, for now. So I have her doing these. The jar of food. Also the little puffs, you can't go wrong with these. It's also nice to just stick in the diaper bag if you're out and she wants just a little snack. So these are great, dissolvable. And then these are also fun as well. They're um, little wafers, like they're called Organic Teethers by Happy Baby. It's like the blueberry and purple carrot is the only kind we've tried. But they're about this big. They look kind of like, kind of like little surfboards. And it's good because she can just hold on to them and chew on them as she wishes. The little things like the puffs or the yogurt melts, she doesn't really have that pincer grasp yet to be able to pick them up and put it in her mouth herself. So having these like big surfboard looking things that she can grab onto and learn how to eat herself I think is really fun for her. Um, and these melt very quickly too. So... I'm comfortable with these. For a high chair, we just bought the IKEA high chair that's like $20. It has been so functional, um, really nice, easy to wipe down, and we love it. Um, one of the downsides of it is that the legs go out really far, so it's a little bit wide, but I think that that is okay. I really like it, and we've accessorized with um, accessories from Yeah Baby Goods, which is a smaller business, um, and you can buy like the cushions, um, footrests, a little mat for it. Once you add all the accessories, it does make the high chair a little bit more the price of a normal high chair, but it makes it so cute. And I really like to have the foot rest and the leg wraps um, and that cushion definitely makes it so that she is more sturdy in there because like I said, she is a tiny little girl. So it's good to have that extra cushion in there to keep her more upright while she's eating. So you can get the, just the simple Ikea high chair, but if you want to make it a little bit more like personalized to you and more cute, then you can buy the 
accessories from Yeah Baby Goods. Also for feeding, we have loved using this silicone feeder. This is another way that she can easily learn to like feed herself and has more like fun being independent with it. So this is just, um, has little holes in it. And so a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll mix like a banana with breast milk and just kind of mash it up. Um, I tried with avocado too, but she's just not a fan of avocado. She loved the banana mixed with breast milk though. And then I put it in here and it just kind of like seeps through the holes and she has such a good time like sucking on this. This is also good for teething babies. You can put like frozen breast milk in it, um, make a little smoothie that's frozen, um, kind of like yogurt. Um, you could do, I've seen people do ice cubes, like crushed ice cubes just to help their teething baby's gums. Um, so this is nice because it doesn't get everywhere because they they can hold on to this, but then all of the food comes out here. So she loves this. This is just a Dr. Brown's brand that I got from Marshalls, but um, I've seen these on Amazon, so I'll definitely link them. But this is definitely a must and such a cool invention, so we love this. Now onto the teething category. So Amelia has not popped any teeth yet, um, but I can tell that the time is coming close because she has been so drooly for months, um, kind of fussy at times, runny nose, like red cheeks. So I think that the time is coming. Um, so we have used bibs a lot just because she is so drooly. The bibs that we like are just these like bandana type ones that are cloth, super comfortable. Um, I like her to have cute outfits sometimes, so these don't really like cover the whole outfit but they add like a cute little neutral touch to it so I think I just got these off Amazon love them really really comfortable they soak up the drool pretty well they wash well they're soft very affordable they come with a pack of five like really neutral colors so love these um, also we've used Norwex ones these are really good they're super absorbent we use these as burp cloths sometimes we just keep these in our diaper bag um, but yeah these are very absorbent work really well so definitely gonna need bibs for your drooly teething baby <laughs> oh of course they love to chew on anything that they can get their hands on so I try to give her a teether a lot of the times just so she can um, chew on that we love the Sophie giraffe she loves it too um, it is a little bit expensive just for like a teether I'm not sure why this is like over $20 but it's really cute and she likes it because you can easily grab onto it. There's like different things to chew up here, different like textures I feel like that are just like comforting on their gums and then the four different legs, there's just a lot going on. So I think that's why babies really like this. It also has a little squeaker so that's fun. This teether is by Tonno Tots. I got it at Target. It's really cute. Again, it's great for baby to just grab onto themselves. Um, these little like ball tape things here are soothing on their gums so she loves this one. And then also this as well is by Nubby, Nubby. Um, it's just like a little llama lovey, but it has the silicone llama at the top that she loves to chew on. So we just have this with her in her car seat all the time. Um, and this is soothing to her, and then she also chews on it. So stuff like this are just essential for your teething baby. You can't forget about this one. This is a little mushroom teether. Um, I see this like all over social media. Babies love this. Um, again, this is, I think, better when she was younger, probably around like that three to four month range, just because it's a little bit smaller, so she her little hand could grip onto it. Um, and then this, these little things here kind of resemble like a nipple, so it's really good for breastfeeding babies. Like if you're a breastfeeding mom and your baby won't take um, a pacifier, you could try this, and I know a lot of breastfed babies um, will actually use this to soothe themselves. Amelia is very flexible and real would take a pacifier, any bottle, and choose breastfed. So I couldn't, I can't really say if it works for like for us, but I've definitely heard people say that um, their breastfed babies really did like this. So I would recommend. Okay, so we're on to our last category, which is just going to be like hygiene essentials. Um, and so the first one are boogie wipes. So when she was younger, we used the nose freed a lot to like suck the snot out. But now I feel like she's at the age where she just gets like crusties around her nose and the nose freed doesn't do anything for that. Um, so these are really good. Like they're really not a gimmick. They actually work somehow. Um, it just really dissolves this crusty snot that's on their nose and wipes it off very well. And then we also get the fresh scent. So I just, I don't know. I feel like it's nice to have a fresh scent on her face. I think that she 
likes it. Actually, she doesn't. She hates to have her nose wiped. She really does hate it, but I think this maybe makes the experience a little bit better. And it, it's quick and efficient. It gets those boogers off pretty quick. So we've used these a lot. It's also nice to just keep in the um, diaper bag to have on the go. So loved these. Very essential. I also just have to share this. Um, if you babies poop on everything, blowouts all the time, spit up leaf stains, all that stuff. There's been no um, stain remover that has gotten the stains out for me except for this. This is seriously a miracle worker. It's the Piracy Baby Stain Remover. Um, this is amazing. I like to buy more like expensive baby clothes, like less of them, but to have very good quality clothes. And I like to keep them very nice and new so that we can use them for a while and I can possibly sell them for pretty much what I bought them. So I like to keep them pristine. And this gets out all of the stains. Um, the trick is you just spray it as soon as baby makes a stain on it, rub it in, leave it for day. You could leave it for like a couple hours and it will work well or even have it sit in the um, laundry basket for days. Put it in the wash and the stain comes right out. So I love this so much and swear by this. If you are looking for a stain remover to get poop, even out of white clothes, this will do it. I promise. And then also, again, back to the poop. Babies are pooping over th all over things a lot. Blowouts tend to happen more in this three to six month age range. And so when you're out in public and have clothes with like poop all over it, the best thing to do is just get one of these bags that look kind of like doggy poop bags. That's pretty much what they are, but for babies. Um, and I just pull one of these out put her dirty clothes in it, put her diaper in it, and if we're in a place that's not by a trash can, um, and it's like lavender scented, so it kind of covers up the poopy smell. So we love these. We keep it in the diaper bag all the time, and it is very good to have when you run into a situation where you're, you're going to need it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this essentials video for your three to six month little baby. I really hope you guys found it helpful. Of course, I'll have everything linked in the description down below for you to easily find. Let me know what some of your essentials were for this um, age range for your baby. I'd love to hear because every family, every baby is so different. So it's really fun to see what people um, loved in the comments. And then other people that watch this video can see that as well and get other ideas. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And those chunky chunky ties. Oh my gosh, I have this itch in my leg that is like unbearable. Oh gosh, thank God for holes in the leg.